when we refer to higher dimension, what exactly it is. From uh, evolutionary point of view, uh, human beings are the most sophisticated species. What is it exactly after that? On this planet, don't think you are the most sophisticated being on this planet. So, what exactly it means from this reference point of view as a human being, higher dimension after this? Is it something in some other planet or is it some energy form? What exactly is it and are there any levels of higher dimension? Because the evolution is progressing, so if we say higher dimension, are there more levels to it? In your experience of life, do you find all human beings at the same level of evolution? I'm asking you without prejudice. With all due respect to every human being, do you find every human being at the same level of evolution? Nobody has a tail though, that they've passed. But there are many who look more complete with a tail <laughs> or horns. A whole lot of them would look more complete with a horn growing out of their head because they're always… <laughs> yes or no? You drive on the street and see. In this country it's better though the traffic is such a mess. Though driving in India is probably the most challenging thing. But I see in other countries, the drivers driving their dream cars are on the edge. Smallest thing, they're in a rage. Actually that is not so much here, at least in South India. In North India we know road rages. In South it's not like that. We crash into each other, we sit down and discuss and <laughs> maybe we'll settle our son's wedding or <laughs> daughter's wedding right there. <laughs> we believe this is our fate, we crashed together. <laughs> we met with a bang. <laughs> you don't see much rage on southern Indian roads but North India it happens but in other countries I see the rage is so much though Traffic is far more disciplined, very rarely anybody gets into your way. Here every moment somebody is getting in your way. Everybody is, uh, you know, trying to earn that seven years imprisonment by attempting… They're all testing their horoscope <laughs> Their astrologer has told them you will live to eighty years, so they're testing it today, whether it's true or not. It's… it's uh, <laughs> a whole lot of things happening. So, in spite of all this horoscope testing, you don't find much rage. So, people who are in such a state of rage, if you gave them claws and horns, it would be more suitable, isn't it, for their state of mind and emotion. They actually want to claw somebody, but they don't have the claws. The evolutionary process should be one day they'll get the claws. So you don't find all of them the same level of evolution because it's a threshold that we have crossed. That doesn't mean that's the end of it. Because the significance of being human is just this. We are not doing anything very different from what the other creatures are doing, same damn things. We are born they are born just like that. Their mother was… mothers delivered them, our mothers delivered us. Their mothers were more efficient with delivery, our mothers struggled, okay? <laughs> yes? <laughs> because they delivered in hundreds, our mother to deliver one, she struggled so much. They eat, we eat, they sleep, we sleep. They reproduce, we may reproduce. They die, we die. The only thing is we can do all this, we can conduct all these very simple aspects consciously. So in a day, from the moment I leave the sleep time for you, that also needs to be considered, but we will leave that. From the moment you come awake till the moment you fall asleep, how many moments and how many actions and how many thoughts and how many emotions or how much percentage of it do you conduct consciously? This will determine 
the state of your evolution right now. If you conduct it consciously, you will do it in a certain way. If you're going about compulsively, you will look like any other creature. Yes? You will look like just any other creature, not any different. Once you do things compulsively, only when you conduct it consciously, you seem to be on the peak of evolution on this planet, not otherwise. So you can gauge by yourself, I don't want to pass… I don't want to pass a judgment on anybody. From the moment you come awake till the time you go asleep, fall asleep, how much percentage of time are you conducting your body, your mind, your emotion, your energy and your actions consciously? If you are less than one percent, you know there's a lot of work to do. And I would tell you, the, if I have to speak frankly, more than ninety percent is less than one percent. Less than, well below one percent, more than ninety percent of the people. Those ten percent who do little more than one percent, suddenly they look like such graceful beings. Just from tomorrow morning, you want to do it from tomorrow morning or now? From this moment, till you fall asleep, just see how much of you can you conduct consciously, all aspects of you, your body, your actions, your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, your energies, everything. To what extent can you conduct it consciously? You see, if you conduct this consciously for five minutes, by tomorrow morning people will bow down to you without knowing why they're doing. So that's evolution. And it's something you can do. If you just see it's me, not something else, you will evolve. Because once you become human, you have enough awareness and consciousness to evolve consciously. When you were a monkey, you did not decide I'll become human being. Nature just pushed you on. But now you're conscious enough to decide I want to evolve from where I am to whatever is possible. Just… just try. Just maintain five minutes, manage your life consciously today. You will see tomorrow morning how you will be. You will be shining, believe me <laughs>